Attacks on the Christian faith in America are generally founded on two gigantic lies. One, the separation of church and state, and two, <laughs> that science has proven the Bible wrong. Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here, and it just tickles me pink when the militant atheists get their comeuppance. You might say they got trampled by a triceratops recently. In Montana, Dr. Mark Armitage discovered a large triceratops horn at a dig site, and when he put the tissue samples under the electron microscope, he was stunned to find soft, stretchy tissue still attached to the bone. Now, being a respected, uh, award-winning scientist, Dr. Armitage did what he's supposed to do. He reported his findings, which were then published in some scientific journals. And Dr. Armitage suddenly found himself fired from the university. Why? Because Dr. Armitage's discovery damaged the hardcore evolutionary claim that dinosaurs died out about 60 million years ago. You see, Soft tissue cannot survive for more than a few thousand years. And since evolutionary scientists cannot refute that discovery, they did what militant evolutionists always do. They tried to cover it up, get rid of the offending scientist, and deceive the public into continuing to believe the big Darwinian evolutionary lie. Many good honorable scientists have been blackballed by universities because they dared to report scientific discoveries that do not parrot the evolution party line. Now why would scientists engage in such viciously dishonest tactics? Well, because militant atheists rely heavily on science as their number one weapon with which to attack the Bible and the Christian faith. Those who have honestly investigated Darwinian evolution as it's taught in the schools have found that it is nothing less than an atheistic religion based not on science, but on the belief that man is the highest authority in the universe. Scientific discoveries that expose evolution as a fraud are considered blasphemy, and the offending scientists are treated as heretics by the militant atheists whose religion is evolution. Dr. Armitage is not the first scientist to find soft tissue in dinosaur bones. Paleontologist Mary Schweitzer first found it in 2005. And government-funded universities have been scrambling to cover it up ever since. Dr. Armitage, fortunately, decided to file a lawsuit against the university, and the university settled out of court. Now, why is this important? because these soft tissue discoveries fit the biblical narrative that man and the animals were all created around the same time. Every civilization around the world has legends of giant reptiles. Wall paintings of giant reptiles have been found in ancient ruins. Job talks about behemoth, a creature so huge its tail was like a cedar tree. Bottom line, the Bible is the most reliable book in the history of mankind. Read it to be wise, trust it for your salvation, and never let militant atheists fool you with their humanist rantings. Now, if you believe in this message, please go to www.outlawschapel.com and click the donate button to become a supporter. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God again.